Hey guys, Matt Rosemond here with Eugenia Wolstein, Life Coach. Uh, how are you today? I am very great, thanks. <laughs> how are you? Thanks for being on. Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. Um, so, what did you wish you knew 10 years ago? Oh, 10 years ago, um, I wish I would knew that, you know, um, do not stick into any situations that are not good for me. So just because of some random thoughts or fears in my head. Um, yeah, that everything will work out fine if you just step up, step up for yourself and for what you really want and what is good for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And perhaps taking some risks. I feel like people are very reluctant to take even small risks. Um, yeah. I think that's a big part of like stepping out of your comfort zone. That's right. Yeah, just, you know take the risk is that exactly because um all the amazing things are on the other side of fear aren't they so um great and and what's a what's something that you're curious about right now i'm curious about um you know what what i do on a on a daily basis is to really help people to fall in love with their ideal soulmates and i'm curious about everything that's holding them back i mean over the years i discovered a lot of things what's holding them back but i'm still curious about everything and so you know to to really deep dive into all the hurdles and the limiting beliefs they have about it and what's the what's the biggest thing that's holding them back um i think it, it always depends on the person but in general there are always kind of patterns of similar things so one thing is um they don't really know what they want you know like a lot of people they do vision boards for their lives so they put all those amazing goals on their vision boards like a car or whatever yeah. <laughs> or you know cut out like bradley cooper and put it on the vision board but they never actually uh, made a vision board for their ideal relationship uh, so yeah. they you know they, they have like a list of 127 things the other person has to tick off, right? But they never thought about how they want to actually feel in this relationship. Uh -huh. And because this is the most important part, it's like, how do you want to feel? And then it's so much easier to cut people off as well if they're not the right ones for you. And um, because you know exactly like, okay, actually I feel like crap. Actually this person does not meet any of my needs and values. So this is probably not the right person for me. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so the first thing is they don't know what they want in terms of they don't know, they don't know really what they want. Right. And the second thing is a fear, fear of rejection, fear of being hurt. Yeah. Right, yeah, I never heard of mapping out like, basically a vision board for your ideal partner so that's pretty cool um, yeah like you know put all the things on the on the vision board you always wanted to do with your ideal partner you know what do you want to do what do you want to achieve together how how do you want to be in this relationship as well um yeah. everything yeah even if you are already are in a relationship that could come in handy yeah yeah um so what's what's true about relationships um that you think that few that a lot of people would disagree with you about um but i think it's true but a lot of people would disagree okay um <laughs> i think it again comes down to most people look at all the outer things they want from a person but they don't look what they how they want to feel you know mm -hmm. they have like a list of okay for example, if this is a girl, then she's like, okay, the guy has to have like this hair color and this job and this car or whatever. And, and the, for, for guys, it's the same. He's like, okay, he has to have, she has to have uh, this body shape and this eye color, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, uh, beauty is only skin deep. And the most important thing is, you know, um, how you want to feel. And I think a lot of people, they are not aware of it. And at first they would disagree with that. But in the end, it all comes down to, um, what, what are your values and what are your partner, you know, is on the same values page as you are because at the end when, when a relationship ends, it's always about the feelings, you know, you didn't, you, di you didn't feel appreciated, you didn't feel loved. So it always comes down to emotions and feelings and not whether someone changed their hair color or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, totally. So mm -hmm. it's kind of going from like the external characteristics of someone to like how you actually feel and how like, yeah. they go together.
Um, great. And is there anything else you want to share with us that we haven't covered? Um, I think I would just tell, I would just love to tell everyone that, you know, um, fear is based on past experiences, you know, like, um, I heard the sentence once and I, I, I think it's really true. If I would tell you, Matt, you know, are you able to get out of the chair and fly? You would say, no, <laughs> probably. And if I would tell you like, hey, Matt, are you able to get out of the chair and walk? You would say yes. But what is your answer based on? It's based on your past experiences. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. you experience like, okay, I can get up and I can walk. So yes, I can do it. But you never experience that you can actually fly. Mm. And this is a random example, but it's really true for everything. It's uh, because people experience something in the past, they are uh, used to project it into the future. So what I have chosen is to, you know, to make uh, the past equal the future. I see, but, but right, yeah. there could be things that we don't know that um, are possible that we can do that we just think is impossible just because we haven't experienced it in the past. That's right, that's right. So um, I think the most important thing is to not do that and be really open and just have the faith that whatever it is that you want is out there. And just because it didn't happen in the past, it does not mean that it won't happen in the future. Yeah. Great. Um, one more question. What is that chart that you have in the background? Oh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, NLP. <laughs> oh, I was like, there's NLP, something going on here. It's, it's a chart of um, some NLP techniques and nice. I, it's a great background too because I'm very. I was like very curious about that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, thank you so much, Eugenia. I uh, really appreciate your time. Thanks, Matt. Thanks.